I begin by adding a fill and turning off all the channels except color. I then choose a base color for the model. For the gradient, I add a new fill and change the color. I add a black mask. I right click on the black mask and add a generator. I'll use the 3D linear gradient. The balance for the generator will adjust the amount of gradient on the top and bottom of the model. The contrast determines how sharp the blend between the two gradient colors will appear. If I change to the position map, I can use the color pickers to choose where the gradient starts and where it ends. This is a quick way to change the gradient, but it doesn't offer much control. I can, however, change the position end to a solid black. For the position start, I can change the position start color to a bright red, which is the x-axis. With the balance at 0.5, I now have a perfect gradient from left to right. To invert the gradient colors, I can change the invert option to true. If I want a linear gradient that is top to bottom, I change the position start color to a bright green, which is the y-axis. With the balance at 0.5, I now have a perfect gradient from top to bottom. To invert the gradient colors, I can change the invert option to true. If I want a linear gradient that is front to back, I change the color to a bright blue, which is the z-axis. With the balance at 0.5, I now have a perfect gradient from front to back. To invert the gradient colors, I can change the invert option to true. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video about using the linear gradient in Substance Painter, you may enjoy this video. Have a good day.